So Jeff, um, you're new into this role as CMO of Target, uh, two yeah. months in at this two point, months. right? Yes. So congratulations. Thank you. It was a highly anticipated um, appointment. Yes. Um, and just tell us a little bit about kind of the you know financial health of Target. So in general, we just had uh, one of our best first quarters in a long, long time. Mm -hmm. And so great success coming out of this first quarter. But you know, we know that uh, the guest is still is still struggling. Mm. Coming out of the recession, and the there's recession. that continued frugality. Yeah, that's right. And so, when you think about the value proposition of Target, expect more and pay less. You know, we're just doing everything we can to reinforce what that position means to our guests right now. Mm -hmm. The discretionary items and non-discretionary items, and our own brands play such a great role in driving some of the demand on the non-discretionary. But offering great value every day is still really, really important for our guests. What was it? Do you think about you? and mm -hmm. your skill set that was most appealing to Target? You know, I think at the end of the day, it was probably two things. One is just a great breadth of different experiences. Mm -hmm. You know, I think about the agency business and corporate marketing, Coca-Cola and The Gap, but also entrepreneurial experiences. Um, having started and sold um, a software company at one point, mm -hmm. uh, helping to drive the growth of the agency that I just left. And so at this point in time, having somebody who had a really different breadth of experience as opposed to a full career at one place, probably number one. What are your thoughts as far as you know, the messaging and the advertising mm -hmm. and the look and feel of the advertising moving forward? What would you hope mm -hmm. to have it be? Yeah, well, the, the one thing that is really clear to us is still expect more, pay less is the idea. Mm -hmm. And you think about for so long that clarity for this brand, and we're unwavering with that brand proposition. We call it our brand promise, and that will always be the strategy that drives what we do. Creatively, you know, we're known for brave execution, and that could be in experiential marketing, it could be in traditional advertising. That also has to remain fresh as a way to surprise our guest. I think the way we connect digitally is kind of the next evolution of where we continue to press. Where would you like to kind of put your investment? Do you expect more investment going into digital in, this, mm -hmm. in terms of your overall media mix? I think over time we'll definitely invest more in digital. You know, we reach millions and millions of guests, so broadcast is still an incredible medium for us. It helps to shape the broad reputation of the brand and drive big seasonal stories that are important to tell. Mm -hmm. But obviously, you know, connecting with you one-on-one -on -one People refer to the store as their target. It's my target. And so the more we can use modern methods to allow the way we connect to be their connection, just like the store is their store, mm -hmm. those two things uh, coming together are really great. So this is all part of the, the redesigned beauty That's area, right. correct? And so um, we've done about a thousand of these stores now. And things that you'll see in here, just really easy merchandising, great lighting, great end caps, great ways to merchandise products, lower shelves, all these things that make Destination Beauty a great place to shop for mm -hmm. women. Yep. Um, and you know, inside Beauty, having all of the national brands that, that she would want and expect, and then some unique things like our partnership with Sonia Kashik. Which is a Target exclusive brand. A Target exclusive brand, a partnership with Sonia uh, for about a decade. Mm -hmm and just wonderful product. Women come here specifically to find her products, you know, known for her brushes in particular, mm -hmm. um, but just doing great accessories and, and bags, you know, and of course the full makeup line. It's, it's quintessential Target, like I said. You, right. you look at, there's everything here from entertaining and summer parties, I love the s'more stand, That's like fantastic. everything mom needs, just right. walk here get exactly what she needs to but make more really to the kids. But this is really anticipating where they're at. As you say, they're out of school. Yeah. They're in vacation mode. That's right. But this is like putting the consumer first, right? You, you're, you're like in the consumer's mind. You understand where they're coming from in their yeah. lives, and you offer it up in a, in a display. That's right. So we think about what's the guest doing at this time of year, and we know that there's lots of activities coming out of school, getting mm -hmm. ready for vacation, entertaining. So this is a great little place for mom to stop. My girls love this, the lemonade stand. And so you think That's about... Great. You know, every kid wants to sell lemonade. Sure. And here it is, it's everything. Yeah. And including a little uh, slip to track the sales. Who doesn't need a money box of where <laughs> they put their money? What's the role of retail these days in general, too? Because at the time when there's been a lot of talk about showrooming and people coming into stores only to then go buy the products online, right. what needs to be the unique role that retail 
the retail environment offers. Well, I think we have to make it easy for a guest to find what she wants whenever she wants it. Mm -hmm. So at the core, that strategy has to be part of what we do. Mm -hmm. We have to offer her things that she can only find at Target. You know, we're, we're always going to offer the best national brands because that's what guests want as well. Mm -hmm. But what will really separate us is the value we create through the differentiation we're sitting here in C9 by Champion. Mm -hmm. You know, we have 10 brands in our portfolio that are owned brands that are each over a billion dollars in sales. And so, and they, they make wonderful product and great value for our guest. And those are things you can only find at Target.